Okay, we're back. And uh, thank you. As you know, I'm Franco De Nicola, and we have Duty uh, Pathwalker with us. And we're going to continue with uh, a subject we started in a previous video. And but the uh, question is going to be a little different, and we're going to look at it from a different uh, viewpoint. So, uh, welcome back. Thank you for playing with me again today. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Franco. I I'm excited and kind of uh, uh, um, nervous, but uh, stressed, but uh, I, I will, I will uh, listen up. Um, uh, in the previous question, uh, the uh, topic we discussed about uh, uh, messianic figures and, and Savio uh, relationship and, and worship. Um, with my experience in the last few uh, months with, uh, let's say, uh, awakening the spiritual community, there is uh, a new uh, a version or uh, I would say myth of a coming uh, spiritual event from the central sun of of the of of the galaxy that will make a quantum shift in in, in all uh, uh, living things, including plants, and will raise consciousness uh, all over uh, the planet and the solar system. And we will all, uh, in a few hours, will shift our uh, experience of existence and our uh, belief systems because we will uh, have uh, experience in oneness of, of all living. And, and this, this information is coming from uh, channeled materials and also from uh, many uh, what's called uh, QHD, uh, quantum heliohypnotic technique, which is uh, a deep hypnosis technique that allow people uh, to communicate with the higher self or entities that are related to their higher self. And, and with this technique, they bypass the mind and the intellect mm -hmm. and, and deliver information. And uh, so it's hypnosis, uh, uh, channeled materials, and also uh, people who look at prophecies and uh, interpret prophecies, Nostradamus and so forth. And of course, the uh, mediums and uh, uh, People with uh, super sensory uh, material bring that also, and we don't know who is the first, who and who is the right, who is the originators, on who is the writer. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, this information, on one hand, it's empowering and providing hope, and it's also considered uh, opium, like opium. Opium, mm -hmm. opium for the masses. Okay. I like that. I like that. <laughs> uh, on the other hand, okay, it it bears the the smell of the savior uh, symptoms. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my question or my ponderings and how to uh, take it in a balanced balance approach. We had, if you remember, 1984, we had 2000, we have, I mean, for, for massive transitions and, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, cataclysmic uh, prophecies, 18, 
2012, and now this. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also uh, a prophecy about the uh, coronal mass ejection right. from the sun. Right. Yep. So I I ask for for your assistance in taking this spiritual messages in balance and uh, uh, not, uh, uh, let's say, uh, throwing off all your uh, banking and uh, uh, financial savings and, and, uh, uh, and selling your house and, and going to the beach. <laughs> yes. yes. To take it in a balance, in a balanced spiritual uh, perspective. Right, right. Well, um, it has the same, like you said, as the message from the previous uh, uh, video that we were talking about, the Masonic and so forth. Uh, again, it's, it's the same aspect that some process, if it's not a deity, some process is going to take over and all of a sudden advance us and change everything in a spontaneous movement, like they call the ascension process, right? Or, but... The thing is, again, what is hope? You know, if you look at that, hoping that, okay, things is a mess and I hope things are going to change and something's going to change it, but we're not gonna have any power over the changing it because we're too far gone or too this or too whatever, right? So in essence, it's this whole idea that, you know, we have to wait for something and we're waiting for this because the ascension process, it's the same thing, like you were saying. It's another savior. It's to pull us out of our state because we're not going to be able to do it. But in actual fact, this so-called ascension process started some time ago. And it's very gradual. But what is that? Is that there are certain energies that are coming through the planet, through us, and so forth, the certain awakening and so forth that we're going through. So really, we're how gradually upgrading ourselves, our awareness, our access point to the point where we're starting to become more aware of how we can redesign our lives and so forth, right? It's not like, uh, you know, this, this grand, there was one other one that was really popular, the event, I think it was called. Yeah, they call it the this event. We're, right. we're speaking about this one, exactly. Oh, okay, the event. Okay, the essential process, the event, right? So. Right. Uh, so we're going from certain deities, you know, from a religious perspective to a deity or not deities, but other beings from other planets or, you know, they're coming in to, to save us again. Right. My thing with people, as I've always said, is if we need a truly, truly, truly saving, okay, we would have done it a long time ago. They would have already interfered, come along the way. But how does that help? Again, it takes us out of our capacity to do what we came here to do. We came here to play the game. We came here to upgrade and grow and to become more aware in the process. It does not benefit growth if we are removing the process. So that means mm -hmm. if we're, we're going right now, how much more powerful is for us to become more and more aware we start looking at the way things are done and we start redesigning what we're playing with, redoing all of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. To a degree that at this point in time, as we redo it, we're also learning from it. And we're also seeing the transition from one to the other. And through that transition, you get mm -hmm. so much substance in, in awareness and consciousness of playing and whatever else you get a lot mm -hmm. more out of that than somebody coming in and erasing and changing the whole game and, and creating something totally different, you know, without our, our participation. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the thing. So if we get caught up in that and say, okay, I'm just going to wait, then you're going to go into that sleep state and that dependency state that mm -hmm. uh, we call victim state and waiting for 
okay, I'm waiting for the event and then my life's going to be better. I'm going to wait. I hear this from people a lot where, you know, oh, I can't, I can't, function i'm waiting for the event and then uh, my life's going to be better or that something mm -hmm. else is going to change or something of that nature that is just putting us the same way as before with the spiritual stuff putting us into the sleep state i'm just going to wait not doing anything guess what you taking action each one of us all taking action to our degree is what really makes the thing move okay so are we getting assistance yes we are we are getting assistance, but the assistance is not taking the, res the responsibility of our creation of our reality away from us. It's not taking our power away. It's actually activating more of our power and mm -hmm. activating more of our awareness so that we do it ourselves. Collectively, we do it ourselves. And this is what the thing that what's really, really happening at this point in time. So, are we having solar flares? Yes, we are. Is the frequency of the planet, uh, of the sun increased? Yes, it has. But it's only stimulating us. It's not fixing anything. It's stimulating us so that we can move forward. Are we having more direct uh, uh, energy coming from the galactic central sun? Yes, but that's also uh, you know, stimulating the sun's frequency, that's stimulating planet Earth's frequency, and uh, are we moving through the galaxy? Yes, we are. As the whole solar system is moving across the, the galaxy, mm -hmm. we're coming closer to other planets, farther from other planets. Each planet resonates or re uh, emanates uh, certain frequencies. Mm -hmm. So we're being affected by those frequencies. But what are they doing? They're waking up some of our genetic codes. They're waking up some of our DNAs. They're active, stimulating us to, to shift in our own aspects. Mm -hmm. of it. That's all they're doing. So it's accelerating a process that we're doing because the process went a little too slow for where we are, have agreed to go. So in essence, we have agreeing to move a lot faster so that we can go into other dimensional consciousness while being in this physicality. So what can mm -hmm. we do to stimulate it? And that's what's happening. We're being stimulated to facilitate, but we're not being carried. We're not being saved. We're not being taken out of the equation. Because this is the thing. People do not want to be removed from their current experience. They want to move through it with their own power, their own capacity, their own awareness, you know, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So that's really what's happening at this point in time. But if we're going to put power that something is going to come along, you know, like when people say, well, what do you think of the event? I go, what event are we talking about? One's already started? It's been in progress for some time. We went through several stages. Yes, in 1986, going into 87, we had a convergence. So certain rules at a soul level was changed. Certain energy started to increase as the Hertz planet frequency started to change. The sun's frequency started to change. All of that started to change, yes. But then we went into the next stages and it ramped up and then we went into 2012. Well, 2012 was another stimulation, another activation and so forth. And it's been moving across. It wasn't like catastrophic, whatever you call it, well, whatever. I can't say the words now, but where, you know. Cataclysmic event. Yes, that's a better word. Okay, so it's not that type of event that, you know, will shake everything or that we have to have things crash and so forth. Yeah, certain parts are gonna fall apart, whatever it is, because it shows instability because we are no longer giving it the power we were before. Mm -hmm. right. Look at it in our own personal life. Yes. As we start to learn and start to shift in ourselves, our priorities change. Mm -hmm. What was important, start, you start letting go of certain things that were important certain things that used to rule your life. You start plugging in other things. You start to change your way of life, your understanding, how you communicate, how you engage, what you engage with and so forth, what friends you have, what work you do, what, you know, all of that starts to change. But what changes mm -hmm. you that's changing. So you're changing that part of everything around you. So as we collectively change, the dynamics of what the planet and how we do things and the rules that we apply and everything else starts to change too. And that's what we're going through, that whole process. So right now, what's happening? Right now, people are becoming aware. We put ourselves in a box. Great, beautiful experience, loved it. Had a fantastic time with it. But now we need to expand this box, okay? At some point, we're gonna take out the whole boxes. But at this point, we're gonna expand it. 
so that we can have more access, more room to move around, start becoming more active creators, mm -hmm. consciously active creators, because we're always a crea active creator. We've just been unconscious. And because of the focus that we've been putting, uh, then what we've been creating is very, a little bit different than what we wanted to, to experience. So in essence, mm -hmm. all of this stuff that's going on is just shifting our way that we create and how we bear. So we're expanding that, that part of it. So the process is already in the way. Uh, what's happening? You know, we go through stages. Like for example, we had from 20, the end of 2012, really 2013 to 2017, there was a lot of different pulses, different energies coming through, different states of mm -hmm. more information being shared, more connections happening and so forth to bring us to, to prepare us for a next stage. Our next, our following stage started in 2018. And that's a two year process. We're already in it. We're almost done with 2018. So 2018 has been interesting because the focal point of 2018 in our consciousness and our consciousness is about change. Everything is about change. Before it was more awakening, stimulating, realization, so forth, mm -hmm. clearing out programs, doing all of that stuff. So a lot of focus was get rid of your program, deprogramming, all the programs you've taken on that no longer serve you, right? So now we're still doing that, but now we're, it's about change. We're starting to change how, not only how we see things, how we act, the energy that's emitting from us, how we interact with things that are going on. So that's the, the, that phase of 19, 2018 and 2019 is mm -hmm. the theme. We'll call it a theme. The theme yeah. is change, okay? To prepare us for the next phase, which is, starts in 2020, right? Okay. So this is all part of the process that we're going through. Now, yes, there's certain things that are going to occur uh, that are going to stimulate it even further, and we're feeling it. I don't know if you're, how much you're feeling, I'm sure you are, that you know, people are getting more, feeling a little bit more crazy. They're feeling a little more out of balance. They're also noticing that they have uh, extra symptoms in their physicality. They're also feeling more confused. They're feeling uh, more emotions coming up, uh, a lot more uh, drama and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. These are all processes of change and shifting. Uh, and it's really a purging that's kind of going on. But it's also an integration of this higher energy and frequency because our body's changing too. The cellular structures, the, the frequencies it works in is changing. The planet is already at a fifth dimensional consciousness. So the planet itself is emanating a higher frequency. Planet Earth hasn't kicked us out. Gaia, whatever you want to call it, it hasn't kicked us off. It's saying, okay, listen, I'm going to help you. I'm going to push you along, but you're going to do it yourself. So it's like your mother saying to you, you know, duty, uh, you need to do some of these things here. I'm going to give you some instructions and I'm going to help you, but you you have to do it yourself. And that's not really what we're at. It's no different. And that's, that's really what's going on. But if we wait and, you know, I have some people that write online and so forth, they get upset when I say, you know, they, they're waiting for the event. And, and I, of course, they've been waiting the event for a while. So they, you know, Oh, it's been stalled. It's been stalled. And these people channel, these people get information, you know, in a hypnotic state and so forth. But the information is coming in. You have to take it to a point where, okay, where's it coming from? Is it about empowerment or is it still trying to keep us in an old state? Right? So if somebody's saying, well, you know, this, this events coming or this ascension process or whatever it is that, you know, will transmute us completely in one swoop, uh, that was never the agreement. From a collective perspective, that's not the agreement. The agreement is, we're going to do it. We're going to learn. We're going to grow. We're going to shift all of this together. Now, someone that won't, don't want to participate can leave. You know, that's fine. You know, souls will come and go, whatever it needs to go. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's really what's, what's happening. So mm -hmm. when I'm talking to the people that get upset, they're not doing anything. It's like, no, I'm not going to change anything until the event because the event's going to take care of everything. What does that show you? What does that say right off the bat? It's like no more, no different than I'll wait for the second coming of God or some deity or Jesus or whoever because when he comes, it's always male for some reason, 
or sometimes you have the, the feminine energy brought in. When they come, they're going to put everything together. We're going to be in Nirvana. We're going to live in heaven. We're going to be all in this amazing space, you know. But if you actually tap into those true sources, what are they going to say to you? Those entities, those aspects of souls will say mm -hmm. to you, you are the one that's making the changes. You're the one that's doing it and the one that's going to do it. It's not, I'm not here to disempower you. I'm not here to take away anything away from you. I'm here just to tell you, you are the one that's doing this. So do it. Don't go to sleep. Do what you have to do. Start looking at your life. Start shifting things. Start to uh, come to a higher realization. See what applies and doesn't apply with you anymore. Be that. You, like I think somebody had said this, I can't remember who it was exactly, but you be the change that you want to see sort of thing. Well, start living that reality in you and then that reality will take form. Not only in you, but also on a collective scale yeah. because we're doing it all together. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Even, uh, even the ones yeah. that come, sorry to interrupt, even the ones that come, there are souls on the planet here, you know, because there are a lot of different souls that come on their planet. They take on human bodies. Some maintain a certain alien body or alien energy, but there are also advanced souls, souls that have actually gone through a lot of the processes already that share higher consciousness. But that's all they're doing. They're not coming in to fix anything. They're sharing higher consciousness to stimulate your own consciousness. Like if I talk about my own soul, my soul came for that purpose, to share higher consciousness. This is why we're having this discussion. Mm -hmm. higher, but I'm not here to fix anything, save anybody, or anything of that nature. I'm sharing this consciousness so that people wake up and uh, uh, access their own consciousness that's all so that we move forward really just to give you a simple example you know okay uh i, I would like to inter interject mm -hmm. another aspect to this discussion um there is uh, a perception or a myth or a, a theory of sharing a, a species knowledge by thought form. It's called uh, the hundred hundredth monkey theory. Heard about it? Yes, yes, I have. Yes. Okay. okay. So some people and I'm also among them, uh, interpret the event as manifestation of the 100 monkey effect, 100, 100, 100 monkey event, a, a 100 monkey uh, uh, effect. Effect, yeah. Uh, on, on the uh, awakening conscious of the planet. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. This is this is uh, the interpretation that I, I uh, that I I, uh, I read, and I connect with. Mm -hmm. Because I connect with it because it is one. It is uh, empowering. It means it's us not something external that mm -hmm. we create and we manifest. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. And second uh, aspect that I really like about it, it's about sharing and unification. There's even so that uh, I don't uh, share with people uh, through, through speaking and, and explaining and so forth. They connect. And I really like this this idea. And also in, in, in my trip to Colombia, I got the message that at some point of, of my career as a, as a spiritual teacher, I will deliver the message of connectivity without talking, just by uh, sharing 
uh, eyesight and hands. That's it. Mm -hmm. Telepathically. So, and I was very excited and ecstatic and so forth. Uh, and and now uh, I kind of, when I said I'm ecstatic, I connected to that uh, to that feeling, and I kind of loosened up again to the to this talk as as opposed to the beginning of the talk that I was kind of saying. And th th that's one thing of the hundred months key sharing our our metaphysical uh, thought form mm -hmm. around the species, the human species. That's one thing. Uh, uh, the other thing is the power of manifesting that we as a collective are doing. In the previous conversation, we spoke about people who uh, I interpreted people uh, manifested the red heifer, red heifer, yeah, okay. from from the for the belief system because the spiritual community speaks so much about the event, we manifest it as because we we hope for it, we want it so much, we manifest it, but not necessarily for the whole species unless we share it with the whole species. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the, the way, another interjection to the same, same philosophy. Right, right. And it makes, it makes total sense because in essence, uh, we're, all inter we're all connected, okay? So the experience of one is always uploaded to the collective. Uh, and so anything that you, any realizations that you have, any experiences that you have, is automatically exchanged, uploaded into the collective, and it becomes available for all others. So anyone at that point in time that is ready for the next part will be able to access that knowledge, that consciousness that you have gained in your own person. Mm -hmm. Because everybody, we're all interconnected. Now, there's a lot of repetitive stuff, but what happens is, I don't know if the right word for it, but I'm going to say, the stuff that has a higher vibration, a higher consciousness, and so forth, mm -hmm. okay, ends up being flagged. It almost like you can see it easier amongst all the other stuff. Because if you're looking at it, there's seven and a half billion people on the planet. So everybody's a transmitter receiver. Mm -hmm. A majority of it is still very, you know, low vibration, whatever else, you know, playing whatever games they're playing. Surviving. Survive. Yes. Survival mode. Survival is victim anyways. But anyways, in survival mode. So in that, there's so much of that in this big data. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, like you have a big hard drive and it's a collective and all of that information is going there and we all pull from that information too as a collective. Mm -hmm. So what happens is because we have so much more of survival and very little of flourishing, you'd never find, it's so hard to find in that big mm -hmm. pot of data. However, the beauty of it is that because it's different, because it vibrates very differently mm -hmm. and carries a certain spectrum of light, it, even in that big vastness, you can pick it out. It stands out more. Mm -hmm. So in essence, when you're tapping into it, especially if you're looking for a solution, for example, you figured out, like even with the 100 monkey um, theory, philosophy, whatever, I can't even remember the, name, the rest of it. But in essence, you know, it had to do with a monkey learning that, you wash a fruit and you can eat it now and you don't have to have all that grit by just going there. And then all of a sudden monkeys all over the world started to get that same idea. Right. Mm -hmm. But they all had their own characteristics of doing it the same way. They just pick it up and eat it and deal with all the other stuff. Right. But just right. because it was washed, I think it was potato or something. I can't remember what it was, but anyways, uh, then many of them start going, Oh, you know, they started to realize there is another way, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. as the, 
the amount of people that are on the planet that are starting to realize there's another way and starting to realize, you know, that we can, we're more empowered and stuff like that, like you're doing, you're going to find that that starts to stand out in that whole collective vast of information that's there. And more and more people start taking it in. And then they change and then they expand it and, uh, or they put their part into it. And then that starts to, you know, you start getting bigger and bigger clusters within this whole big field. So it even stands out even more. Because look at I, what are the difference I see now mm -hmm. versus where I before. Like I've been on the planet for 61 years, okay? The progress that I see now, the amount of awareness, awareness that I see now and how many people are on board that you, you know, talking like even what we're saying right now wouldn't be totally scandalized or, you know, totally reject you or call you some crazy person. Mm -hmm. I'm used has, to that. Yeah. You, more <laughs> people are getting used to, to that and are less, less and less resisting. The amount of things I can share now compared to what I could share before has expanded greatly. Mm -hmm. I couldn't talk about a lot of this stuff before. So when I was doing teaching or doing, you know, uh, events, seminars, whatever, or even uh, sessions, my conversation was very different, even though I knew more about it and I could have shared more, but I couldn't because it would turn, mm -hmm. shut them off. It's like, oh, too much. No, I turn it off. He's a nut, you know, or he's crazy or whatever. Mm -hmm. So you had to dance with it, you know, to a point where you give him a little bit and a little bit and a little bit. And then, you know, but now you can give more. Like stuff I share now is huge compared to what it was before. And I, there's even more than that. But, you know, again, I have to throttle down. But the thing is, the amount you can share is large now because what's happened? More and more people are starting to get that part of that information and that understanding with them through that hundred hundred monkey uh you know scenario and situation that's playing out because the collective is expanding you know so there is more uh and plus what's helped too is the people sharing with one another the internet's played a, a big role in it you know because Mm -hmm. Before you can get it from books or you can get it from uh, television, but you know, that was controlled much more. This is controlled too, to some degree, but in essence, there's much more sharing. And even though everything is not correct or not of a highest understanding, but if in many cases, there's still enough in there to help stimulate, you know, further. Like, for example, you may hear certain things and you may resonate with some parts and then you're going to do more research and more research until you find other pieces that resonate. And then you're, you're like, you're building a whole puzzle of stuff that resonates for you mm -hmm. by taking pieces and pieces and pieces and pieces and plugging it into your own awareness, right? But now it's a little easier because there's so much more information there. Yes, there's more sort of distracting information too, but you know how to pick through it. You can pick through it because in essence that's been stimulated in you you know so that's yeah it's a good point that you made with that Thank because you. that's what's really happening so even if you like you said even if you do not communicate you don't do like i do okay i do the other part too like you know do talks do seminars retreats workshops you know stuff like that just the fact of what i'm aware of and what I experience telepath telepathically or connected wise that's mm -hmm. being shared and there's more being shared than I actually even speak. So, okay. And just being in the energy of it already starts to create changes. So yes, that's really what's happening now is because it doesn't always have to be with, words or expressions or anything of that nature just the fact the moment you have an aha moment it's like oh i put all the pieces together i understand it now Whew. goes out into that field and it's now accessible by the masses who chooses it it's up to them but it's there and there's a lot of hungry people you know, hungry, when I say hungry, hungry for knowledge, hungry for activating their, their knowing. And that's 
that becomes an instrument for them just because that was put out there. Like okay. take this to conversation right now. We're recording this and we're going to put it out there. But just the fact that we're talking and sharing what we're sharing right now, mm -hmm. it's already being fed in the collective and it doesn't have a word in that collective. It's just the thought forms. It's just the energy that we're transmitting, the consciousness that we're sharing. That's already going into the collective. Even if we did not put this video out, it's already gone out there. But okay. this actually helps as a tool. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm humbled. Um, I, I, I would like also to consider um, uh, what, what we call uh, Nibu hitchhiker. Hitchhiker for the uh, coming uh, human uh, evolution, transition, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. I read in many places that uh, one of the reasons that we are now uh, almost uh, 8 billion people together mm -hmm. is because this is a hotspot. A mm -hmm. hotspot for many souls uh, to experience this transition, this, this evolution. Absolutely. Right? So, and, and I will, then I'll, I will ask, okay? Are those all hitchhikers uh, that uh, just came to, uh, to experience uh, going through the checkpoint? Or, and, and while uh, the old souls that uh, went through uh, the earth cycle a few thousand times uh, are, the, uh, uh, are the carriers of those hitchhikers. Um, uh, and and they really uh, carry or or learned the lessons to be learned from from this or value of of this uh, this transition. Well, the uh, yes, there are there are souls that have come back and forth many many times to make incremental. Uh, contributions, but incremental uh, self-contribution to themselves by, you know, uh, stimulating and so forth and uploading in the collective what was going on. There are a lot of new uh, souls that have never been here. And are they hitchhikers? I wouldn't say hitchhikers, but there are more souls that wanted to come here to catch this wave of transformation because they feel that they can make the most amount of progress here. So before it all changes, uh, they wanted to be part of it. But there's also a lot of souls that are already quite advanced that do not need the enlightenment, but have come as contributors, have come to already bring certain mm -hmm. energies and certain awareness from, from other planets and other dimensions where they've already have achieved mm -hmm. enlightenment. So they are facilitators. facilitators, yes. And they're not going to be so public either because they're, they're just bringing their energy, their consciousness. Some will speak, some a lot won't. They will just be connected to the collective, into mm -hmm. the 100 monkey thing that we were talking about earlier, and uh, be able to stream in that, that, that level of consciousness. Mm -hmm. There are other souls that have never been here either that wanted to see how it was here but also carry that particular energy uh, while they're here to shake things up okay because energies get stagnant and that's mm -hmm. was kind of one of the things that happened here so when something different comes in and it's quite different it starts to kind of create a vibrational uh, destabilization of that and if, especially if you plug in a lot of them that are coming in it starts to destabilize and what happens it creates movement again you know that that rigidity starts to become more mm -hmm. malleable and it starts to open up a little bit more so there are a lot of different variants of souls on the planet right now mm -hmm. 
part as facilitators, part as energy changers, part are coming in to uh, ruffle the feathers, stir up things and so forth. And others are, oh, I better catch this ride before it's over. So I'm gonna, I wanna get down there. And then others that have been, you know, working, uh, uh, coming in back and forth, back and forth, that uh, I want to see the progress. I want to be part of the progress because I, you know, I've come here in many, many lives and I want to make sure mm -hmm. that I catch this. All this work I did, I want to be part of it. I want to be, I want to see the transformation. I want to experience it in a human physical body while it's going mm -hmm. through that. So those are the, the different uh, variants of souls that have been coming. And um, because of that, there's been a, a really push to, to, to come. And the borders kind of opened up, if you want to call it that. The portals opened up so that more souls can come in and there were more bodies created and so forth. Um, and mm -hmm. uh, that's why we went. I mean, how long ago was it only 2 billion people? It was less than 100 years ago. It was only what? Really? 60, 60 or so years ago? It was only 2 billion people. Well, in 60 years, we went from 2 to pretty well 8. So we quadrupled four times as much that's not very common okay that took you know a, a bit a big doing to to make that happen to to make that much opening in it right and it, and uh just because it's a hot spot like you said it is a hot spot it's it's a planet that uh offers a lot in essence because it's been behind it's behind okay our planet was really designed before any modification came about to go from third dimensional consciousness to ninth dimensional consciousness. Mm -hmm. What in its natural state before any influence of any sort mm -hmm. uh, before uh, we would have been already at seventh dimensional consciousness planet earth, but we're not, you know, the majority is still at third. And yes, the planet is a fifth, but that was through a lot of stimulation and so forth. Mm -hmm. But in essence, so now this is why everything is accelerating tremendously to make some progress or more uh, progress than originally, because it's, it's not like so much it's falling behind, but it is not keeping up with the galaxy's uh, change, because the galaxy is upgrading. And planet Earth has stayed in too long of a stagnant state that we're so out of balance with our galaxy. And for a period of time, for a long period of time, we were quarantined, if you understand what that is. Basically, we were isolated from the frequency of the galaxy. We received some, but the, what we were experiencing was not fed back to the galaxy. But that's opened up. So because of that opening up, it's also now from a perspective of all the planets that are involved in our galaxy mm -hmm. and also our universe uh, is, is doing everything possible to kind of get us moving. So it's not anything about savior. It's just about a, a great upgrading and, and, and assisting energetically to stimulate our self empowerment, self movement, uh, and that's really what's what's happening at this point in time. There is intervention from other souls in different bodies that are in ships, you know, yeah. terrestrials, whatever you want to call it. We can talk about that on a completely different uh, video, but that are also participating, playing various roles to make sure that we don't get stuck, we keep moving, you know, taking out of some stuff that's a little too hard for us to deal with at this moment to kind of make room so that we can be, be able to do it. Sometimes we can get overwhelmed and that's what uh, humanity has mm -hmm. been in an overwhelmed state. So helping us to step out of the overwhelm so that we can get back up and move a little faster. So stuff like that. Uh, influences of other extraterrestrial beings that have and a lot of that, what we talked in the other video about a lot of these uh, Masonic uh, activations mm -hmm. are from that state. But 
also from them not to uh, overstep their bounds and uh, keep the, the progress mm -hmm. uh, in a stuck state too. So there is intervention of that. There's been interventions for us not to self-destroy, meaning you know we have weapon trees that can be yeah. quite destructive and their intervention was not to take it away from us but to deactivate it so that we would have a chance to become more conscious before um, we would actually dismantle all of that so it's like okay you have toys you don't know how to use yet because you would use it for such a way that it's not going to be highly beneficial and it's going to re regress things so we're going to we're going to tamper with the toys we're going to disconnect the toys so that you can't use the toys and uh, that way giving you time to become more aware mm -hmm. and then the toys can be dismantled because you'll realize that those toys were never in, uh, beneficial in the first place for what inhibit, the direction in we say to to wet the matches wet the, the match matches the yes 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 <laughs> who said that exactly in Hebrew, it's a, it's a, it's a saying. It's oh, a saying. Hebrew. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. Wet the matches. Perfect. I like that analogy. So that's what's really, what's really, really happening at this point in time, you know. And uh, anybody that's tuning in, uh, you know, will see that that's what's going on. But again, even the extraterrestrials, uh, they're not here to save us. They're here to help us out. And if we're stuck somewhere just to kind of stimulate things and, and so forth. This is why they haven't showed up and be exposed in mass, uh, uh, mass amounts, besides the fact that we're programmed to be afraid of them. But besides that, um, you know, it's like, uh, they're not coming in, well, we're gonna come and save you. We have a lot of technologies that will help you advance once you get to a certain point, right? And that's the point we're working towards right now. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Um, I, 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 I would like uh, to put another aspect of, of this uh, of this uh, uh, ascension or, or, or growth path mm -hmm. here. Uh, this is also this ascension and, and growth path is also a gain. And it's also a belief system. Mm -hmm. And it also has the danger of becoming a religion. Yes. Yes. And it has already in many ways. So how do people really seeing it that way? Okay. So this is we can speak about the this is a, a discussion I want to uh, to elaborate uh, in about the free will uh, and and the boundaries and, and the game of free will mm -hmm. about this uh, say game or, or or drama of of attention. Okay. So. Part of being in this drama is being aware that we are in this drama. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That it is just a drama. And when we say that uh, some souls came here only for this transition or this period and so forth, and, uh, and we are a hotspot and so forth, when we say we are hotspot and we are special and so forth and we're in power, okay, we need to be aware that we are not differentiating ourselves as better and lower than others. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, and uh, I say this because there is a tendency to say, okay, we are a special place, we are a special species, and so forth. And uh, we have our virtues and we have our faults. And uh, uh, because of that, we, we are uh, special, special people, like the chosen, yes. the tribe of Israel. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. There's a, a spirit, spiritual danger in that as well. Mm -hmm. 
danger or trap or whatever you want to call it. Yes. Yes, yes absolutely. But I want to reflect on that as well. Yeah. Yeah. One analogy I can share is like, you, you know, about video games. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes what happens, certain video games have a really high interest to people and it becomes a really high selling video game because a lot of people, Oh, I'd love to have that experience. Right. Mm -hmm. And so it becomes a trend. It's like, oh, everybody's trying to buy this particular video game because every, a lot of people want to experience that video game. This is no different than the video game of being human on planet Earth. This is all it is. It's a video game. And the reason it's a hotspot because it's like, oh, that's a very interesting place. Let me, or let me go play that game. Let me play that game for a little while. And that's it. It's mm -hmm. not that game is better than the other games. And you notice one thing. Games are popular for a while, and then after a while, another game comes along, and then there's another hotspot or another place. That's all it is. Now, because of the transition we're going, it's like, oh, let me see what I can get from there. That's, let's go there because it's a nice, nice vacation place, nice place to go play for a little while until it changes. That's all. But it's not any better. No, of course not. And the other thing is, too, it's not just planet Earth because a lot of times, look at this, there's the reverse. The reverse belief that also that beings from another planet is superior to us. They know more, mm -hmm. that we should surrender our power to them or that whatever they say uh, is the right thing, mm -hmm. you know, or is the best thing or something of that nature because there's that reverse side. The thing is, they may have a different perspective and they may have seen things a little differently, but how much does it equate to our particular experience? Maybe bits and pieces, yes, because they're sharing something a little bit mm -hmm. of it, but is it really applied? So you can't turn around and say, well, they know better and you surrender to, the, to whatever is shared. You have to always look at how, how could I utilize any part of it or how does it even apply to us and know that? Because one of the things I, I said years ago, and I, I still say it, don't give yourself away to the fact that these specific species are coming onto the planet or sharing certain information. They have a different viewpoint, okay? They, mm -hmm. Some have never been here and lived here or even experienced it in a human body, right? So in essence, you can't take every part of it. Take parts that they may share from a different experience and say, yeah, this is applies, right? It's like this. I travel to Israel, I'm going to learn some things in Israel. I'm going to find different ways of cultures and foods and whatever else. And I may want to come home and adopt some of those things. I'm not going to be changed over to Israel or to become an Israeli or to eat 100% like that. That's a possibility, but that's not the case because I'm going to say, oh, I like certain things, but some other things I didn't, wasn't too interested, right? So mm -hmm. I'm going to take... Every time I travel, I always get some ideas and I take little bits and pieces here and there and, and uh, I adopt it in my own ideas. So it's like, oh, no, I like the way they do that or I like this yeah. type of food or whatever it is, right? But that's it. You don't give yourself away to it because that's not, you, that's not your experience and it's the same thing. Our humanity can't say we are, you know, are going to take what a Syrian or Pleiadian or a Turian or Lumerian or any of those other species, reptilians, you know, there's so many uh, that they share is, is ours. If you look at even our bodies, yeah. our bodies are made of 12 different species blended together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's a blend, you know, it's a lot of different bits and pieces from other. So our phys physicality has those 12 different species. Uh, are they all active 100%? No. But in essence, that's what they have. Each DNA represents a different species. Each uh, double helix is two variants of that species. And we have telomeres, which are transmitter receiver antennas mm -hmm. for information that are shared by those species. But we don't take one. We take bits and pieces, bleed it in, and, and upgrade within our own experience. I understand. Excellent. I think I think we have uh, uh, consumed and, and wrapped uh, quite good uh, this this topic. Franco, yes. are you with me? 
yes 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 so um we can uh we can carry on another time with uh, another topic or anything of that nature but at this point i think we've given them enough on this one yeah okay so thank you thank you uh, i'm i'm uh, i'm privileged thank you yes and uh thank you for all that you shared and the and the questions and for us to explore and so forth and uh the people that are watching and listening just uh you know if you want to watch more we'll have more there's uh, already some we have from before and we have new ones coming out so just stay tuned and i think you can subscribe so that way you get notification when uh, i think there's a subscribe and there's a little bell that you uh, after you've subscribed you can click and that way you get notification as new content comes out so just uh and you can share it with others and so forth so welcome to do that and thank you again uh do these uh, pathwalker and we'll connect again on the next time thanks